There is always something to do over at the Bristol Public Library for all ages. And here to tell us all about the special children's program is Shauna Smart. Thanks for joining us on Hometown oh, thank Living. thank you. Well, there's a lot to do and a lot of different programs and resources for families to take advantage of over there in Bristol. And you brought some fun items with you and I've already been playing with them. So what are some different programs as I kind of play with what you brought that families can come and attend and take their whole family to? So I do the preschool story time mm -hmm. at the library, which we read an awesome book at first and then we do a sensory like activity or a craft and we have a lot of like art classes coming mm -hmm. up and music and movement, movement, which is really fun for all the kids really fun for the whole family and you were saying even some of these items you can make at home and different ideas that parents can do especially in these colder months we yes. need activities and we need ideas and we're running out of them yes. so what is it that i'm playing with over here as you're talking you Shana? are playing with <laughs> you are playing with kinetic sand okay. which it holds its shape and the kids can play with right. it and it also does like some really cool stuff can you make this or is this, I've seen kinetic sand that you can buy. Is this yes. best to just go ahead and purchase when you see it? Yes, <laughs> I, we bought that. And we also have cloud dough, which I made, which is just baby oil. Oh, okay, flour. so we're gonna like move this way yes. over to cloud dough. You can make this at home. Say the recipe again, because there's two things, Shonda, right? Just flour and baby oil. I love. I mean, that's easy. Look at that. And you can play with that. I'm sure you have flour and baby oil at home, but get ready for a mess. Yes. That's the fun part. So you have a tray here and just get different toys to be able to do um, these projects at home. And then you did bring a book with you. So you're talking about the, the reading program for preschool age where you pick a book and do an activity. What are some of the books or what is this one specifically that you brought? So this one is really cute because it talks about all sorts of sea creatures and animals like how a cow is not in the sea, but this is also called a sea oh, cow. Oh, this little one right here? Yeah. <laughs> a little sea cow for the kids. So they are learning something and then doing a little craft. You talked about some art programs yes. coming up. What can we get excited about for those? So I'm doing one for the pre-K and that would be on March 10th. We're mm -hmm. gonna be doing finger painting. And then on March 17th for the tweens, mm -hmm. we are going to be a doing like Polaroid watercolor paintings. Okay, and so at the library, do you need, to, is there a fee involved? Do you need to register in advance? What are those details look like if you're hearing, oh, these are some great opportunities for kids and tweens, how can we be involved? So everything is free. The only thing I ask for to do registering is for the story time so I can provide everything for all the kids. Mm -hmm. So just register in advance to make yes. sure that there's enough activities and supplies while well, also a movement and music event coming yes. up. I want to hear about that. So my coworker Tahila, mm -hmm. she does that. It will be on March 26 at 10:30 a.m. in the morning and they do a lot of listening to music and of course they move and mm -hmm. they dance and they, I think they learn about different types of music as well. Mm -hmm. And what age group is that class for? So that's for the pre-K, so that would be around like one to six years old. Mm -hmm. So those pre-K classes, so a lot of things for kids of all ages. There's one thing I haven't asked you that you brought here this morning and it's this picture of a little kitty reading a book. Shauna, why did you bring this picture specifically? <laughs> so this is Paige and she lives at our library. This is our library cat. So this is a resident library cat over there in Bristol, right? Yes, we've had her since 2018. Mm -hmm. We adopted her from the Humane shelter in mm -hmm. Elkhart. Mm -hmm. And so you can kind of get a sneak peek of the little kitty while you're reading. I mean, yes. does she kind of interact with some of the kids while you're, yes. while you're reading and doing story time as well? Oh yeah, she comes in and out everywhere and people come from all over and see her. So there is a resident library cat, but of course, if you want to learn more about these programs and why does the cow live in the sea, recipes to make some of these products at home, and then of course, you know, some fun ideas to be able to do with your kids in the winter months and all of those free resources. We have the website right on the screen so that you can sign up and check out all of the amazing programs coming up over at the Bristol Library. That website is bristolpubliclibrary.org.